look like they're packing meat. You know what I mean? How like they put strings. Um, what did I order? Like looking at this and it has no shape to it and I don't have any shape to myself. What the f is this whole post to hold? One tip. Oh my God. Hey guys, it's my family here. Make sure to subscribe to be a part of the family and comment something down below because I read every single one of my comments. I got a comment the other day saying that I look like a different person every single day and I get it. I look like a catfish, okay? I literally look like two different people whenever I don't have makeup on and when I have makeup on, people are like, oh my god, I thought I was watching someone else. Like, I get it. Not all of us can be naturally gifted with a pretty face without 10 pounds of makeup on. <sighs> also... That's awkward. So if you guys are like me, you guys have been on TikTok and then you see all these girls post about all these clothing stores like Aritzia, Beginning Boutique, Princess Polly and all this stuff. And they're like, oh my God, they're having like 50% off deals. These are so trendy that you need these basics. And it's like, do I really need these basics though? But then your brain tells you, yes, I need these basics. So you go online shopping and then you look at your bank account. It has like 0.2 cents in it. And you're like, what did I just do? I couldn't afford any of that. But then you still bought it anyways. Hi, welcome to my life. I saw Haley Fam do this video. If you guys haven't checked her video, go check it out. So I bought from Aritzia, Beginning Boutique, Verge Girl, and... Princess. That's four. Anyway, so I guess this video is gonna have four places. I'm gonna be rating it from fastest shipping, quality, and the price. And we're gonna be taking a lot of Instagram pictures in this video because I try to post on Instagram every single day. If you guys haven't followed my Instagram already, go follow it. I try to post like a lot of outfit pictures. Anyways, let's just get started onto this video. Uh, I'm trying to sit on the fucking floor and film this video, but this is literally cutting off. Like, I can't even button these bitches up. This is cutting off my fucking circle. I just changed into some sweatpants. Also, this background is messy. Should I? Wow, I'm such a good YouTuber. <laughs> okay, so the all right, so the first thing we're gonna do is Princess Polly. This came in in one day. So shipping was free, and you can get a 20% discount code always from Princess Polly. I'll leave it down below. I don't have my own code, but I know Vanessa Nagoya. I love that girl. She's a great YouTuber, smaller YouTuber, but like go check her out. <sighs> oh, fuck it. I'm a weak bitch. I don't know why One Direction was playing, but honestly, love Harry Styles. In love with that man. I'm gonna go see him in concert. Literally bought $300 worth of clone because I wanted to smell his clone. So that video is coming soon. I don't remember what I ordered. So I got these white jeans. But these are boot cut jeans, which I think are disgusting. But I think that they should like kind of come back in style. I'll talk about like the prices of everything and like the quality, obviously, when I try it on. Halter top. It just like clips in the middle. This is scrunchy, so I think that it'll work. But I have also wide ass ribs, so like shirts usually don't fit me properly. Ooh. I'm excited about this. I really want to try to start wearing like blouses more like just because like it's so girly and like innocent. Oh my god, I can already tell that I'm gonna love this. I feel like blouses are so I was gonna say convertible, but this isn't fucking transformers. I don't know, but like I feel they're so versatile. Then I got this skirt. Hopefully it fits me properly. I don't really know how skirts are gonna look on me. I can already tell that I'm probably gonna end up hating all the skirts that I get, but it's fine. Then I don't know if I'm gonna like this, honestly. It's gonna make me look like so much of a rectangle. Just like looking at this and it has no shape to it and I don't have any shape to myself, so like. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Flannel kind of button down. I love the colors of this. All right, so that's all I got from Princess Paula. My Ritzia package just came in. I ordered these on, I don't know, Future My. Let me know how long this took. So if you guys don't know, Ritzia is overpriced as but I love the quality of their clothing. They basically just sell like a lot Basic. of basics. 10 out of 10 for packaging. I feel like I'm eating my fucking lunch at school. Oh my god, whoa! They're not even like packaged in plastic. It's just that is adorable. As you guys can see, what my color palette is, it's not very creative. I got this top, which basically looks like a fucking sports bra, but it's like a one shoulder one. Then I got this. And this is a size medium. Medium. Bitch, swear. What the f is this whole post to hold? One tip. Then I got the same shirt that I have this one in now. I got these. Now, you guys are gonna judge me for this. I know you guys are. But they're sweat shorts, okay? I know you guys might hate on me. I got these on sale. I'm pretty sure these were only $60 in the Shut original up. price. Yeah, and the original price is $128. I love these. And then I got this on sale too. And the only size they had it in left was extra, extra small. This was originally $128. And I'm pretty sure I got it for like $60 or something also. So I'll show you guys in the try on later what they look like. But oh my god, these are adorable. Hi, okay, so it's like a week later now and I. Um, I just was busy, so I... <laughs> Bird Girl took a week to come in. First off, the thing that I noticed is this was 100% you can buy this from, like, anywhere. So I've been to Asia multiple times, so, like, I've been to, like, the markets and stuff like that. This is straight from Asia, which is, like, all clothing, but what's interesting to me is that they didn't bother to replace the tags. I got this. And it's, like, this zip-up. The material is, like, thick. I don't know how I feel about this. Same thing with this. They didn't bother to replace the tag. I wonder how this is gonna fit. This one says a Bird Girl on it. Quality of this doesn't seem, like, that good if I'm gonna be honest like it seems very mixed match this shirt that I got is also different from like a different seller It's just like a silk little dress next up we have beginning boutique beginning boutique took four days. Oh my god. This packaging is adorable um 
What did I order? Okay, so I don't know what this is, but it feels very good quality. It's just like a looser kind of button-up tank top. I think this would be a really cute basic. This top, which I think would be really cute for layering. Oh, I got a skirt. The skirt's really cute. Hopefully it fits my waist. I have a pretty thick waist. Got this in a size extra small. Ooh. I don't know if that's gonna fit, to be honest. But the material feels very good. Then I got this white dress with like this backing to it. Oh, I love this. Hopefully this fits me. Then I got this top, which I guess you just like tie shoulder parts. Also feels like super good quality. So. Let's try all these on. Okay, so we're in my closet now. Don't mind the mess in the background. It's all the clothes that I'm gonna be trying on. Let's go from most affordable to the most expensive. So Aritzia is definitely the most expensive. I know that right now. All right, so we're gonna start with Princess Polly because they were the most inexpensive, especially because there's always a 20% off code. Change in three, two, I've worn these jeans before, so that's why they're a little bit dirty. They're like kind of bootcut jeans because they flare at the bottom. They're so comfy, and I want to get more jeans in this size. I think they flatter the butt really good because I'm a flat ass, so like if like these don't look like I have too much of a flat bum, it's nice, you know? Originally, these were $43 USD, and I got it for only $34 with a 20% off discount, which is really good for a pair of pants. And then this halter top I got in a size 2, and I really like it, but it shows a lot of side boot. And also, this clip, not good at all, if you guys can see. Like, it's gonna fall apart, I think. Oh my god. And the original price was $33, but I got it for $25 with the 20% off discount. So let's do the next one. Okay, so then I got this like button down from Princess Polly and it kind of has like a plaid kind of pattern, but not really. I thought this would be really cute like on the beach or like late at night, just as like an oversized kind and of. And I got this in a size two. And originally it was $43, but with the 20% off, I got it for $34. Can't believe this was the same price as jeans though, but I love the fit of it. All right, now let's do the skirts. I usually don't wear skirts because it makes me look like a rectangle even more than I already am. But I thought that these would be cute with like a t-shirt or like a sweatshirt tucked into them. But I kind of want to start wearing more skirts. And I got this for the same price as the jeans and the button down. Original price was $43, but I got it for only $34. I would say the quality is good and everything like that. So I approve this. All right, next skirt. Okay, this is called the Zoe midi skirt. What's really weird is that this is cheaper than the skirt that I just tried on, but it's longer. So the original price is $40, but I got it for only $31 with the 20% off, and I absolutely love this. I love the slit in it, love the material. I think that this is a really, really, really good price for a skirt like this, and I feel like it'd be more overpriced everywhere else. That's all that I got from Princess Polly. Overall, I would rate the shipping five out of five stars because it came literally the next day. For the price, I would rate it five out of five stars. I think it's very affordable for like what other boutiques and like shops are charging now and for the quality i would rate it a four and a half stars out of five because everything was good except for that buckle being like not designed well because it unbuckles all the time so princess polly you're doing really good now let's go on to verge girl all right so i got this top from verge girl and it's just like a kind of fuzzy texture fabric and i got this for 40 dollars, which is absolutely insane for just a tank top and i got this in a size medium which is weird because usually like i'm a size small and top it's not true to size i don't think because how is this a medium top like i don't get it i feel like you could find this somewhere else for cheaper let's try it next top all right so then i got this top and it's super thick i definitely wasn't expecting this when i ordered it this is a size small which is weird because how is the last shirt a medium and then this one a small and this one being like a little bit big on the shoulder i'm not in love with how this looks and for 57 dollars, i think it's really expensive for a shirt really good quality though so let's change into the next shirt all right, so this is the next shirt. It's just like a black crop top. I find this is really weird. So I don't know if this is cultural appropriation or not. Someone let me know. I am Asian myself, but I just find it a little bit odd. This was $33, and I got this in a size small. What's really weird is that the quality is changing throughout these pieces. Like, that was super thick, super good quality, and then this is like thin. I love the way it fits and everything, but it feels like it's from like Forever 21. Anyways, I really do like this top though, but for $33, mm, I don't know. All right, and then there's just the dress left, so let's change into that. Okay, this dress is so out of my comfort zone. Like, this is something that you would never catch me wearing usually, but I want to try to make it work. And it was only $46, which I think is a good price for, like, a dress. I think the quality is pretty good. It's, like, thick. The back's cute. Whoa, this is so different. Like, I look so weird in this because I never wear stuff like but this. But overall, I would say Verge Girl. I would say the shipping is a 3 out of 5 if we're comparing it to everything else because it did take the longest to come in a week. I would say the quality of everything is, like, a 3 and a half, 3 out of 5. Everything is, like, fluctuating in, like, quality. So I would say and a half out of five. I would say the price is a three out of five Just because there aren't any discount codes that I know of for Verge Girl and it was pretty pricey Verge Girl is okay I don't think it's going to be my go-to spot for buying clothes because I feel like it's not a very reliable place So let's do beginning boutique next yeah, yeah. Okay, I absolutely love this first of all though I don't know why I ordered everything like an extra small because I'm not an extra small I was an extra small back in like grade 8 and back in grade 8. I was like 30 pounds lighter Yeah 
but it's fine surprisingly this skirt fits really well i'm usually like a size medium in skirts i'm not gonna lie just because my waist is so thick i feel like i don't have a small waist that like most people on instagram that you follow do but i absolutely love this skirt and it has like a really cool like detail to it and this skirt was 49.95 which is pretty pricey for a skirt but i think that the quality is really good and i haven't found like a skirt that doesn't make me look like too much of a rectangle in a minute this top is definitely too small for me but for some reason it's not giving me a muffin top moment i don't know what's happening with these straps definitely should have gotten a small instead it has like this detail on it here too which i think is really nice i'm like absolutely loving bathing boutique right now it seems like i'm sponsored by them but i'm not and this top was 55.95 which i think this is super expensive for a shirt but it is good quality though so if you're looking to like invest in some shirts like this and like you're gonna wear them a lot as your basic pieces i think it could be good definitely pretty pricey though let's move on to the next picks Alright, so this tank top is called the 90s Baby Rib Button-Up Tank Black, and it was $39.95, which is so expensive for a freaking tank top, but I do really like the quality of it, though. Scott, this is an extra small, which is, again, too small. It comes, like, unbuttoned like this, so this is how you're supposed to wear it, I think. I'm absolutely loving the quality of this right now, but the price, not loving too much, but I do think that this is very cute, so let's change it to the next shirt. All right, this is called the Roomba Crop Top Red, and it's $39.95. I don't understand how this is $39.95. It's so tiny. Really do love the quality, though. The quality is amazing. I don't feel like my boobs are going to pop out of this, and I don't feel like I need to wear a bra with it, though. Next. All right, this shirt took me a hot minute to figure out how it works. Basically, worked. you just like tie it in the back and wrap it around. And it was $47.95, which is pretty expensive. But I do want to mention that this is a pretty creative shirt. Like, I don't see lots of places selling this. Or maybe I'm just like blind. But the quality is amazing. Like, very thick. I don't think it's see-through at all. I'm not wearing a bra right now. All right, now there's just a dress left. And then we'll be done with Beginning Boutique. Okay, this is called the Delilah mini dress white and overall I don't like it I just don't like how it looks on my body, but I think that like Ugh. quality and everything is great I look like they're packing meat. You know what I mean? How like they put strings. Yeah, I look like that This dress is $64.95, which is pretty expensive. Not too bad for a dress Sorry, my camera died, but overall I hate this dress. Beginning Boutique, I would rate their quality a 5 out of 5 stars 6 out of 5 stars if I could. Quality is immaculate. For the price, I would say the price is like a 2.5 out of 5 to 2.5. I'm gonna go 2.5 out of five. Not the best, but I would say that if you guys are looking for good quality clothes to spend your money on, Beginning Boutique would be good. And for shipping, I would rate their shipping a four and a half out of five. Pretty fast. Four days is really fast in my opinion. Beginning Boutique, I love you guys. So let's do Aritzia next. Okay, so Aritzia is a really expensive store, like very expensive. These shorts are called the Group by Babaton Arrow Short, and these were $88. I got these in a size small, but I do love them. And I think they look really cute, but $88? No, like absolutely not. And this top is a bralette, and it was $25, which isn't too bad, honestly, for Aritzia. It's not bad, but for just like a bra, it's pretty bad. And then I got this in a size medium. TNA, which is like an Aritzia brand, runs a little bit smaller. So no, it's not true to size. Body's gonna be great with everything that you buy from Maritzia, but it's also gonna be overpriced so and this button-up is called the astral button-up I saw so many girls on tiktok have this so I knew I had to get it myself And they actually only had it in the size extra extra small when I bought it and the original price is $128 insane but right now it's on sale for $63.99 quality is absolutely amazing and I really like this whole outfit together I've already worn it on instagram so like go check it out overpriced but really good all right so I absolutely love these pants these are called the Wilfred free zenith pants and they're originally $128 and they're on sale for only $63.99 right now. So go buy these pants. I swear to God, they'll be like your favorite pants ever. I have a pair of these in white. Absolutely love them. They kind of like flare out on the bottom. So comfy. Such good quality. And I got this in a size 2, which I think it's pretty good and true to size. This top is the iconic top that you see all the girls wear on TikTok. The reason why it's so good is because it's so thick, but still stretchy at the same time. And it's just ripped. such good quality. Like, you don't have to wear a bra with I mean, this. like, maybe if you have, like, triple Ds, you wear. Babaton Sculpt Knit Long Tank. They have so many colors. This is $68, which is, um... Kind of really insane for a tank top. But I promise you, if you are looking for a good quality tank top that you're going to have forever, this is the one for you. I got this in a size small, but I do have them in a size medium and extra small. And I fit all them. Which shows you how, like, how stretchy these tank tops are. Let's change it to the last piece. All right, so this is called the Venice Bra Top, and it's $38, which is absolutely insane. But I will say the quality is absolutely amazing. I've actually worn this out a little bit already, and I don't wear a bra with it. And I'm a size 32D, and I know it doesn't look like it, but, like, my boobs are weird. My boobs didn't fall at all like they're pretty they're really secure in here actually i'm just like jumping around anyway super soft material it's a quality 10 out of 5 the price i would say is i'm gonna go with one out of five the price that you're paying is a lot but it is a good company though. and shipping i would give it a five out of five stars came super fast so ritzia good job
I just want to show you guys how I'm going to style some of these pieces because Anila's going to come home from work soon, so I'm going to take some Instagram pictures. For this red silk skirt that I got from Princess Polly, I paired it with just like this belt that I also got from Princess Polly. It just adds a nice touch to like put it all together. And the shirt's just from Urban Outfitters. It's a Budweiser tee that I just tied up. And it's a way to like make this skirt a little bit more edgy. But I think that they're so cute. So I just changed into another outfit just to take some more Instagram pictures, which if you guys want to see, they'll be on my Instagram. I just changed into that dress from Verge Girl with these Travis Scott Air Jordan 1s. Also, I think what would be really cute is wearing like some chunky heels or something with some uh, Nike quarter length socks, like ankle socks. And I know it might seem really weird to wear those with heels, but I think it's such a vibe. Just took those pictures, thought they turned out really cute. Okay, I just changed to another outfit. Anila's finally home. We're gonna go get an Instagram picture in this also. This is what it looks like. It's all white, which is really weird. We're, like kind of a fit. We're currently at this location. And we're gonna go take some Instagram pictures with my fit. Okay, so if you guys haven't followed my Instagram yet, I posted all of the pictures on there already, and I posted a bunch more that you guys didn't see me take. On my Instagram, I try to post there every single day. I'm so active on my Instagram, so if you guys aren't following it already, go follow it. I promise it's good. And I have a spam account, which is like kind of juicy. Like it's honestly an awesome spam account. So go follow that. It has like a hundred and something thousand followers. So I promise you, it's a good spam account. It's not just like, mm, I'm quirky. Like it's funny, okay? If you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe. Let's try to get to 1.22 million subscribers please 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 i literally appreciate every single subscriber and comment something novel because i read every single one of my comments okay peace peace out yeah okay east and the west i'm racking up on my breath uh, power on me i feel it just like a tesla too much treat the smoke is making my chest hurt girl on me i'm thinking i should arrest her